welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to show you how I've managed to customise my ARC notebook to function like a day folder. So I've decided that for back to school I'm going to do a mini back to school organisation series for how I've decided to organise all of my stuff for sixth form and this is part one of that. So this is my ARC notebook, how it just looks. So on the front I just have um, I've got like a collage of different things that are like meaningful to me almost so I've got a picture of my friends um, a couple of my dog um, pictures from a concert again my friends and then I have these three symbols which are the three subjects I'm taking so that's chemistry that's physics that's maths you can't really see what they're of so that's of like little test tubes and beakers and colloquial flasks um, that's got some atoms some formulae some different like shapes and stuff and then this one is just like equations so yeah, this is the front cover. I just made it on Publisher and then I laminated it with um, this really, really cheap laminator that I got off Amazon. It's plugged it in right now, so I'm not gonna move it very much and it's still quite hot because as I said, I've just finished it. Um, I think it was like 13 pounds and if I remember, I will leave a link to it down below because it's actually really good and it doesn't break the bank. So yeah, it's literally just an A4 page of photos, which as I said, I made on Publisher. Um, which I then laminated and then hole punched using the arc punch. This is one downside of the Staples arc system or any other disc bound system for that matter, is the hole punches are huge, really and really quite expensive. I think this cost about £40, which is a bit ridiculous, but I absolutely love um, the system so I thought it would be worth it, but yeah. If you and your friends both wanted to have the same sort of system, it might be worth getting one to share. And obviously, even though I'm taking my notebook to school, I'm not taking this to school because, to be honest, it probably weighs about a kilo. Anyway, so yeah, it's just a whole punch. You unlock it like, this is going to ping at me in a minute, that. Um, and then obviously you whole punch with it. And then you can lock it for storage purposes, though it really doesn't make it that much smaller, to be honest, let's be real. So yeah, I just whole punched it using that um and put it onto the notebook which oh yeah I'd like to add that I did actually start with a Staples arc notebook as I said um which I took the cover off so I didn't have to put all of the paper on um but as I said I've only actually bought three and I've bought some rings to make a fourth so I will show you see to let you know how that goes as I've done it so yeah that's the cover then as you go inside first page is just the typical staples like write your personal details page I haven't actually done anything on it yet um, not really much to say about that and then I just have again some of the basic arc paper um, I've just got that in there because I have it and it's already hole punched so it's more convenient but when I've finished the arc paper that I have I will probably just use any old paper um, just because I'm not a big fan of how the lines don't go to the edge and the boxes boxiness of it not really sure why it's just not very me um but I'll use it because I have it and then I will just whole punch paper I have at home because I've got plenty and it's quite expensive if you buy it from Staples I think I think it's like four pounds for 50 or 60 sheets um don't hold me to that but to me that's a little bit overpriced so um the next thing that I've added is these dividers, um, which again I just made on Publisher. So it's the same background as I've used on the front cover to represent the subjects. I've then just put this little think like a proton and stay positive um, quote on there. And then I've got my name, subject and the years that I'm in sixth form. Um, if you saw my room tour you'll know that I have exactly that poster on my wall, which is partially why I chose it to be honest. And yeah, so this is just a divider. Again, it's just laminated with the same laminator, um, just to protect it a bit. And yeah, it's just, I'm using these to divide up my subjects. So I then have the same thing for physics. The laminate also makes it stick out, so it's easier to find. Where again, I have the same background. I then got, I think it's a quantum thing. I just thought it looked cool and it matches my color scheme, which I will explain in a minute. And then this um, physics thing, which looks much lot darker on camera than it does in real life. And again, just laminated, got my name and stuff on. And then I have a very similar thing for maths and further maths, but they're on one. Um, 
but this time it's green. It's just got equations in the background. And yeah, again, name, subject, years. So as you may have noticed, it's, um, yeah, each subject's a different color. That's how I have decided I would like to take my notes, where I've got, I like to use a um, black for most of it, and then I use one sort of highlight color. And um, yeah, so for each of my subjects, I've decided to use a different one. So for chemistry, it's purple, physics, it's blue, and maths, it is green, hence the, um, background colour because that will just keep me reminded of that. So um, that's after that I've again got some more paper. So as the sort of traditional back of the notebook I've just got a laminated sheet of white print, plain printed paper. Um, you can actually see through it a little bit but yeah just plain printed paper. I thought I can always use this as a whiteboard as well because um, obviously it's laminated you'd be able to rub um, dry, dry mark erasers, what's it called? Dry wipe erasers off it. Um, dry wipe markers help if I got it right. Anyway, so yeah, just a sheet of white paper. So this is the bit that I'm not 100% sure about, but I'm definitely gonna keep it for now. So these I quite like. So these are just folders. I think it was a pack of three from WH Smiths. I had got these like a year or two ago, so I don't know if they still sell them. Um, hence as well they look a little bit battered but yeah they're just these uh folders that open up on one side um and i've decided to put them in there because as i said i am not taking this to school every day um if i get any handouts i will obviously have to bring them home to then put into my um notebook so i will put them in here and in there i just have three so i thought i can keep my subject separate in case it gets a little bit out of control so yeah they're just three different designs each of them black and white so then behind that, I just have two of these uh, like poly pockets. Um, again, same purpose if I have papers or um, handouts and stuff that I wanna keep in there um, and anything important, yeah, I might just put those in there. And I also thought that because these are quite a lot bigger than the notebook and obviously it's not that protected because I literally just have laminated paper as the front and back cover. Um, I might, when it's in my bag, because obviously, well, I take the train to school and so stuff does tend to get a little bit beaten up. I will probably put one on the front and one on the back so that then it's just giving that, that extra bit of protection because it goes below the bottom of it. So that is pretty much my day notebook. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, then please leave a like and subscribe for more study related videos. And, um, yeah, as I said, I think I'm going to make a uh, organisation sort of series, mini series thing for back to school. So when I have finished that, obviously I will upload it onto here. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon. Bye!